we're still recommending that people drop, cover, and hold on. So if people feel an earthquake shaking, they should drop down to the ground and then try and take cover underneath a sturdy table or desk and then hold onto it because that cover might actually be moving with the earthquake. There's a, a few problems with running outdoors. Uh, first of all, the building might be shaking so much that it might cause you to fall over and actually causes quite a few injuries. Um, also running outside, pieces of the building might be falling down outside and that's gonna cause you injury as well. So it's actually pretty hard to, to walk or run during a heavy earthquake. So we recommend that people stay where they are. If you're outside, again, you'll drop down to the ground. Um, you also want to cover your neck and your head with your arms. Uh, that's just to protect anything, uh, protect your body from falling objects uh, that might be coming from the, the nearby area. Having things like a, a mini flashlight, having some basic uh, food supplies is always going to help. Also recommend that people uh, have a plan on what to do if they're separated from their families. So that's how would they contact uh, household members or people that they're traveling with if they, if they did lose contact during an emergency or a disaster. There'll be situations maybe uh, somebody's in bed and in that situation we'd encourage a person to, to curl up as small as they could and then put a pillow over their head and that's basically to protect their head. Sometimes a person will be in a room and there's, there's no table or desk or anything else to get under. In that situation, we recommend the person to get next to an interior wall and again to drop cover and basically hold, uh, protect their head and neck with their arms, uh, again to protect themselves from falling objects.